Hi, welcome to the Ruckus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, this time we're going to talk about, on the ICX series, how to back up files locally to the flash. So uh, maybe you don't have a USB drive handy or a TFTP server, or maybe you're not allowed to use a, uh, a USB drive. Um, or perhaps you just want to uh, create a local backup of your config because you're going to make a major configuration change and, and reboot, and you want a backup just in case uh, it goes wrong for whatever reason. Um, and so normally, if you're familiar with the way Ruckus works and the way the ICX works, is you've got, uh, if I do a show flash here, you've got a primary flash, you've got a secondary flash, you've got a boot code, uh, and then you have one uh, startup configuration and one running configuration, right? But generally, there isn't um, available to most users, there isn't a file system where you could just, you know, save a file, save a startup file as whatever you want to name it. Uh, however, I'm going to show you a way to do that, right? So um, it's always going to boot the, the startup configuration uh, no matter what but you can make other files in the file system and, and copy those into startup should you wish to. Um, so first thing is, rather than a show flash, which is the way we normally look at what's in the flash, uh, you could do a show dir, show directory. Um, and so in this directory, we see we have the primary and secondary flash, which is what we saw in the show flash. Uh, we have a signature file um, for primary and secondary. We have uh, the SSL uh, client cert key. Then we have our, um, our startup config.txt, right? So startup config.txt is what actually gets booted uh, as your startup config. So um, uh, that is what we're going, what we would copy a file into uh, if we wish to, you know, or if you, do, if you do a copy TFTP to startup, that is what, what gets copied into is that text file. Uh, there's a few other things, PoE firmware, you know, SSL certs, etc. So you should leave most of those files alone, right? Don't don't try to manipulate any of those files other than, you know, perhaps the startup config.txt. Um, so show dir, uh, you can also do a show files. It does exactly the same thing. Um, and there's also a few hidden directories, right? So if we do a show dir slash uh, we can see that there's a few hidden directories here. There's a slash sys, slash log, slash cores. Uh, disk zero is uh, your USB flash drive uh, and, and slash support. So again, for the most part, you're not going to be touching any of those directories. Leave them alone. You can, you know, um, uh, cause more damage than good uh, by fooling with, with most of those files. But, you know, be aware they are there. You could copy files into those hidden directories if you wish to, uh, but for the most part, you should just keep them in the, in the root um, as we are now. Okay, so uh, let's say we want to copy a file. We want to back up your startup config, right? So uh, we can see that the, uh, the startup config is called startup-config.txt, and so we could do a copy flash flash uh, files, right? Um, uh, file, I should say. Uh, and then it wants the uh, the source file name. So in our case, we're going to do a startup dash config dot text, and then we can we can uh, call it whatever we want, right? So we'll call it backup dot text. Uh, so hit enter on that takes a second to copy the file, copy done. So if we do a show dir again, we now have, uh, not only do we have our startup-config.txt, but now we have this backup.txt, right? And so, um, you know, it, you could copy it back. So let's say you make some configuration changes, you know, or you, uh, you, you're you making uh, changes to the running config and you accidentally write them to the startup, well, you can restore your backup config, right? So uh, it would be basically the same thing. It's just copy flash flash file and then backup.txt to uh, startup-config.txt. And it will copy it back to the startup and when you reload the box, you'll be ready to go. Okay, so that's copying files. You can make multiple files, right? You can make, you know, basically as many uh, uh, backups as you want uh, before you run it a flash. 
Um, to delete those files, uh, it's a slightly different command. So we're going to use a DM, which is you know diagnostic mode. So uh, so it's DM flash delete. Uh, you have to spell out the whole word delete for some reason, and then backup dot text, and it's deleted. So again, be really careful what you're deleting here, right? You can delete anything out of that out of that um, out of that directory and and uh, you know cause yourself some some grief. So uh, just delete you know exactly what you need to and nothing more. Um, one one other anomaly is if you uh, if you had something in a hidden directory and you wanted to delete it out of that hidden directory, you would do basically a dm flash delete, um, and then we need the directory name, but say but you need a, a, a dot for it, so it would be like dot slash log slash uh, backup dot text. That file doesn't exist, but you know if you did need to delete something out of a hidden directory, you'd have to start it with the with the dot, right, um, to go to the root. Um, okay, so that's that. Uh, the other thing you can do um, is you can create an alias, right, to to back up, for example. So let's say you want to back up your config on a regular basis to a file. Uh, we can create an alias uh, from config t. It's alias equals uh, and then we'll we'll do a copy flash flash file uh, startup dash config dot text just like we did before and then backup dot text uh, okay oh sorry I didn't give the alias a name uh, we will call it uh, bkup backup okay. So we now have this alias in there. Uh, if I do a write memory, that will be there always, right? So if I want to back up my configuration at any time, I could just do a backup and I'm done. BKU up or whatever you want to call it, right? Uh, as long as it's not a, a keyword that's already um, a command. Um, and so if I do a show DIR, there's my backup file, right? And so, you know, you can run that whenever you want. It'll overwrite the previous one and, uh, and you're ready to go. But uh, that's it. So, um, you know, how to show directories. We talked about how to, uh, you know, back up your, your, your startup config to any other file name. And you can have multiple file names in there. How to delete those files you just created. And then we just talked about how to create an alias uh, in order to, to be able to, you know, run that backup whenever you wish. Um, but that's it for today. Um, I hope you uh, learned something new and have a great day. Take care.